this remote valley is peaceful now. 70 years ago, these hills exploded with gunfire. Tea Patrol were preparing to leave the well where they'd camped for the night when an enemy Italian spotter plane flew low overhead. Knowing they could expect company soon, the patrol sought cover in a nearby cluster of hills. To us, it was just the two outside and inside. But we didn't really wrecky right now, but we just ran into it. I told them that we shouldn't be here. I was told to guard the front entrance, which I did. Within three minutes, the rifle went off, and it'd be in sight. So what do we do now? No orders, just sat there. And I waited oh, for probably another five minutes. And all of a sudden, the plane came over. But because we're in the gully, we couldn't see the damn thing. The LRDG was sheltered by high hills on all sides. Up at the valley entrance, Peter Garland watched as a convoy of Italian trucks approached. And the next thing, three vehicles went within stone farmers. I could have shot the larger. Just as quick as quick. Boom, boom. But he held his fire as the enemy raced on past, apparently not seeing the Kiwi trucks. The rest of Peter's patrol still expected the Italians to burst through the main north entrance to the valley. But the Italians, guided by their planes, circled the hills and opened fire on the LADG from behind. Incredibly, Peter Garland heard nothing. If we could have seen it, we could have done something about it. But because the plane was there, I was thought I'd better not move because he's going to spot what I'll do. The 11 trucks of T-Patrol scattered. They returned fire, but the Italians, assisted by aircraft, had them outgunned. And all of a sudden, all the trucks started beetling out of the gully, away from where we were. All of a sudden, we see a little black at the entrance, waving his arms. It was Tommy McNeil. So we went back to pick Tommy up, and Tommy told us that Rex had been killed, that, uh, that Clayton, he thought, had been captured. He wasn't too sure. But uh, we asked him if there was anybody else in there. He said no. So we thought we'd better follow our tracks of the patrol, otherwise we, could, we didn't have any tucker. So we followed them and got caught up to them about four o'clock. And we asked Bruce Ballantyne, the commander, if we're going back to Barry Rex and make sure there's nobody else there. He said no. And we were horrified. Major Clayton had been captured, along with Clary Roderick and amateur cameraman Wink Adams. As night fell, the remainder of the patrol fled south to rendezvous with the Free French. But four others from the LRDG were still missing. <laughs>